Good evening, everyone. Brand new release today, 1718 Panini Prism Basketball. This is a three box, three, three box, pick your team break, number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Three and four are in the store right now. We already did the first third of the case, or first quarter of the case. Here are the people involved in this one on a Friday night. Thank you very much for joining us on the first of the month. Jeff G with the Last Spot Mojo Clippers. And there's everybody else. Now, let's first of all, let's select which stack we're gonna do. Remember, I marked all of these boxes uh, PYT, so you know they're all from the same uh, same case. I don't think there's case hits or anything like that, but might as well I keep track of all that. So I'm just gonna roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna be doing the far right side. I think we did the far right side last time. We'll set these aside for the next break. And the the next break, the next break I think is already in single digits. So the next pick your team break is already in single digits. So if you want to check that out, go to jazbeeshobbyland.com. <laughs> Make it happen. Two autographs per box on average. The first three boxes we did were pretty solid. Um, the big name we got out of there was uh, was Tatum. It was Jason Tatum. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Good luck. Now, this is a quick three box break. I think this will take maybe 20, 25 minutes or so. All right, yeah, I, I will, Jason. All those all those rookie cards will ship, so you'll be you'll you'll get all of those as well. Only vet base doesn't end up shipping, but all these inserts, even though these inserts aren't numbered, those will ship. It's just a regular one. But yeah, all the rookie cards will definitely ship. This will ship. Frank the tank will ship. Nice for the Charlotte Hornets. That'll be Jeremy thirty three. There's Sean Livingston, 15 out of 49. The Carl White, Tyson Chandler out of 199. Rudy Gobert. I like these uh, get hyped inserts. So I like all the inserts in prison for basketball, especially. There's Jonathan Isaac, emergent. Kyle Lowry, there's Tom Thibodeau, and LeBron. I've heard of this guy, LeBron James. Goes to the Cavs, that'll be for Jeremy 33. Lonzo for the Lakers. Lori Markinev has been playing pretty well too.
We got Evan Fournier and Malik Monk for the Hornets out of 199. So nice start for Charlotte and Jeremy 33. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here, so let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be, whoa, is it? This autograph is guaranteed. Giannis Antetokounmpo for the Milwaukee Bucks, and that is for Nino. Wake up, Nino. There it is, Antetokounmpo. This is turning out to be a pretty nice case. Tatum in the first three boxes. Frank the Tank and Antetokounmpo in the first box of this three-box break. Not too shabby. There's Ish Smith, 13 out of 99. <laughs> I was like, who? But you got to put some respect on his name, Kyle Kramer. Come on now. Pistons with that one. That'll be Mike Koontz. All right. Next box. Yeah, I mean, this Friday night, Friday night fire, Rich, uh, Rick. I, I've I've just kind of gone unconscious. I'm, a, I'm I'll be honest with you. I'm a little exhausted. This week has been pretty busy. You guys, all you guys and gals, have been kept me busy all week, so that's a good thing. So I'm just I'm just kind of uh, I've just kind of gone unconscious at this point and just pulling fire. My two cents on Lonzo, Jeremy 33. Well, he's got a lot of work to do. That shot needs a lot of work, but I'm glad that he is contributing in other ways. He his court vision is as advertised, um, you know, and I think. I think he's his attitude, his personality is pretty good uh, compared to you know what people's misgivings about his father. But um, but uh, no, I mean I think I think he's he's worked hard. He tries to play defense. He rebounds a lot. He does a, a lot of the other different things pretty well. Distributes pretty well. Very unselfish, and I think that rubs off on other players on the team. He's got to fix that shot. The efficiency is pretty terrible, you know. So. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna say. Sean Marion is a good comparison, that, like in in terms of like ugly shots. Um, but I think he's got a good attitude and everything. I think it's unfair that people that people judge him based on his father. Imagine if everyone, if all of you were judged by your <laughs> by your dads. Uh, no one would like that. I don't think he likes it very much either. But it's still dad to him, you know. So, um, but he's got a good head on his shoulders. And Mark Markel Fultz got a good head on his shoulder. Um, seems to be pretty unselfish, so I think that's pretty good so far. 72 out of 75. Um, oh, I agree with you. Uh, Jason Cox saying, Lonzo will be a good player for years. Not sure if he becomes super. I'm not sure if he becomes a superstar or not either. Either. I don't know if I necessarily need him to be a superstar. One thing, there's Jared Allen. Not Jared Allen. Jared Allen. Brooklyn Nets, Peter Eng with that. Um, I do sound optimistic about Lonzo Ball because I think at worst he's still gonna he's still gonna be the sort of guy that will get will get you a lot of assists tonight. Will will get you some uh, rebounds as well. You know, so so at worst, you know, looks like a little dent right here in that Kenny Atkinson for the Nets out of forty nine. Um, so, but you know, it's his rookie year too, so you can't really judge any of, uh, any of these one and done players after their first year. You never know how it's going to turn out. Brandon Ingram definitely looks for real. Very happy about his his uh, steady progression um, for my Lakers. Uh, Kyle Kuzma has been a revelation for my Lakers, but he played for like three or four years in college, so I think he was more he was better prepared to be. A better player and more consistent from the get-go. There's Ingram. Yeah, he's been playing pretty well. Put a put a little extra meat on those bones, which was a good thing. He was kind of he's kind of Kevin Durant lanky. I think that's the, that's actually that actually might be the best comparison for Brandon Ingram. His ceiling could be, you know, Kevin Durant.
But Lonzo Ball, I mean, he's very polarizing. You know, he gets gets a lot of headlines, you know. Here's Dwight Howard, actually, who's actually been playing pretty well for the Hornets. It's another one for Jeremy33. Um, no, my bad. No, yes, it is Jeremy. I was going to say I thought it was Scott for a second. No, it's Jeremy. There you go, Jeremy. 71 out of 199. So we'll see what happens to, uh, to, to Lonzo. I think as long as I see some steady progression throughout the season from him, I think I'll be pretty pleased. But there'll definitely be ups and downs. I mean, he'll have like a triple-double one season. You know, or one game, and then he's going like 0 for 5 <laughs> the next game. It's been kind of weirdly up and down. There's Jason Tatum. So what are you going to do? Sabonis at 75. Yeah, exactly. You know, Rick's bringing up the point of, hey, be honest here. Did anyone think Steph Curry was going to be this good during his first season? No, not really. I think people thought that him taking that many threes – or him being allowed to take that many threes was kind of insane. There's Nikola Vucevic. And feel free to use the entire canvas, Nikola. That goes to the Orlando Magic. That goes to Alex Donnelly. Have we only seen one autograph? No, there's our okay. There's there, there's our second right there. TJ Leaf, is that a bonus auto? There you go. This is an above average box. TJ Leaf, former UCLA guy, going to the Pacers. That'll be for Jeremy 33. Um, ask Facebook. We're not Facebook, I'm afraid, Ezekiel. I know you're trying to subtly pr promote your own break. Come on, man. Why do they have cards for coaches in basketball and not for football or hockey? I don't know. You got to ask Panini about that, PJ. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I think I think coaches may be more... I may be, I think coaches may be more prominent maybe in basketball, right? What other sport except for like baseball maybe? Now yeah, maybe football too. I don't know. Yeah, why are why aren't there more coaches cards? Yeah, I kind of <laughs> I kind of do like the the coach box as well. Why would you post your break? on my breaking channel to promote you. No, you're not going to post it on here. Here, after I'm done with this break, I'm going to ban you. Come on, man. Think. Unbelievable. Some people. I did a break. Let me post it on someone else's breaking channel. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, there are coaches and contenders football, right? Sterling Brown for the Bucks. Larry Nance Jr. out of 75 for the Lakers. Josh Jackson. Tony Snell for the Bucks. That's out of 199. I'll sleeve all of those up in a second. So these are not numbered, but they they will still ship out to you. These are pretty cool though. <laughs> Kardashian effect, Todd? Are you suggesting that I'm I'm like a Kardashian and that people just want to want to glom off of me? There's TJ Leaf again. There you go. Jeremy33 starting his TJ Leaf PC, whether he likes it or not. Thanks, Ziggy. Hi. How's it going, man? Damari Carroll. 8 out of 10, Damari Carroll, for the Nets. Nets edition of Damari Carroll. That'll go to... 
Uh, Peter, I believe. Yes, Peter, with the Brooklyn Nets. Eight out of ten. I, li I like Kuzma. Kuzma has definitely been... You know what? That This is a good example. Kuzma, not a one-and-done player. You know, he was at U Utah, I think, yeah, for like three seasons or something like that. So, but you can see how much of an instant impact he makes, or and just how much more consistent he is, you know? And I think that is that is really a um, a big difference maker, I think, for his success so far in the NBA. Deonta Davis out of 199. Josh Hart is getting some minutes for my Lakers a little bit. We'll see him emerge at some point. There's Deli, Jamal Crawford. There's Jeremy Lin. I think that's who Peter Ang was looking for, Jeremy Lin autograph, but he'll he's like, I'm okay with the Damari Carroll. This is pretty cool. Maurice Harkless. Got some mojo action here. That's seven out of twenty-five for the Trailblazers. Cruz with that one. I'll top load those in a second, Cruz. Did I look through these already? I think I did. Lori Markinen has been playing well. Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. Paul Millsap for the Nuggets. That cracked ice is out of 99. And we close out with these guys. And there you have it, folks. That was a quick, that's not bad, right? Three box break of Prism Basketball, brand new release. Um, that was Pick Your Team number two from jazzpiecehobbyland.com. Pick Your Team three and four are in the store. Pick Your Team three, I believe, uh, looks like um, Pick Your Team three is already in single digits, so we can probably do that. I'm sure we'll do more Black Diamond hockey, and we'll keep things going. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazzpiecehobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.